Hello friends, welcome to our channel TechWind. In this video, let's see about Netlink HD 323RW configuration for BSNL FTTH. And I would also inform you that this Netlink product manufacturer is from Kerala. And this product comes along with warranty card. So before getting into the video, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and along with this click on the bell icon for further updates so first of all as usual connect the ONU using the LAN cable to the PC you can configure using Wi-Fi also but using LAN cable is recommended after connecting open any browser and enter the default IP addresses 192.168.1.1 I have already updated the ONU so that it looks like this for old users the verification code won't be there contact us through social media for the firmware you can get it also by contacting netlink support the default username is admin and the password is admin for old users and std onu 101 for new users some old users also may see change in password after update in that case std onu101 is the password but once you log in you will be prompted to change the password change it using caps small numbers and symbols apply it will be direct redirect to the login page login again using the new password in case if the apply button doesn't work try another browser once you log in you can see that it shows expand which means you can use for both epon and gpon connections there is a default vpan connection delete it first the gpon information shows not authenticated because i didn't plug the optical optical cable so after deleting the default van enter the credentials connection name as add new van connection mode type as root IP protocol as IPv4 PPPoE enable enable VLAN ID and enter the VLAN ID enter MTU enter the username and uh, followed by password enter the service name service mode as internet enable the ports and VLAN and click on apply you can see that the interface is almost same in every routers for voice setup is as follows Connection name add new LAN VLAN ID enable VLAN ID and service mode as VOIP and click on apply. So when you go to the status van info you can see two van connections added there. The status is down because I haven't plugged the fiber still. Also an important thing to note is for BSNL connections ONU won't work if you purchase it on your own you have to bind it to the OLT which have to be done by the operator this video helps you for those who are using old ONU and unfortunately resetted or ONU which is binded to the OLT what we show here is configuration guide on the ONU proceeding to the video the LAN settings are by default configured correctly in case you want to change in it it's up to you the Wi-Fi credentials such as SSID and password can be configured in the VLAN window.
and the next is time you can set the NTP server and bind it to the network WAN for voice setup apply zip in the application advanced NAT then go to the VoIP window enter the zip address in all tabs the zip is 10.197.7.12 or tn.ftth.voip.bsnl.in it changes accordingly for other states after entering enable line 1 enter the account number and name as 91 followed by area code excluding 0 followed by line number the password will be provided by the ISP after entering that click on apply after applying you can see in the VoIP info that the status shows registering once cable is plugged it will show register this is how the WAN window looks once the cable is plugged and connected to the internet the status column shows up the VoIP status will be like this which can also be verified with the green light blinking near the name voice in the ONU so that's all about the video if you have any doubts regarding this configuration you can reach us out on instagram where the link is provided in the description you can just click on it follow us on instagram and uh, we will be helping out there so if you like the video click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for watching <music>